Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we've got another can from the Magic Arts Brewing, and this is their Life in the Clouds. As you can see, it's an IPA coming in at 6.1% ABV. Uh, this is uh, artwork by, I'll find who it's by, artist Annabelle uh, Popper from New York, New York State, USA of course, so yeah, excellent. They do various kind of different artwork uh, for their for their cans and yeah, it's like a, a boat at sea, but yeah. So, not had this one before, so let's crack into it. This is in a 473ml can. Purchased this from the Ravensgate Arms in Ravensgate. For £4.50. Not bad at all. So, a new, new England style. It's brewed with Simcoe and Mosaic hops. There we go. So, beer in the glass. It's in my brew dog Teku. So, there you are. Beer in the glass, then. It's a kind of a yeah, an orange, light orange colour. It's got half a finger pure white head. Hazy, of course, being the New England style. But not as hazy as some can get. Or as dense as some can get. Or as that kind of real brightness. There's a slight dark tinge to it, but yeah. Nice looking beer. Let's get an aroma then. It's been out of the fridge probably about half an hour or so. I'm getting lots of kind of... Yeah, citrusy, but not, not too much. It's more of a kind of a, a pineapple aroma. Maybe a little bit of apricot. Melon. Slight, a slight dryness, like an earthiness or something going on. Fruit salad, pastels. But yeah, smells gorgeous. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Bit, a bit of a bite to it. Sharpness. This can was packaged 27th of August. 2018 so we're August September October so it's just a shade over a couple of days over two months old I'm viewing this on the 29th of October of 2018 so two two months old from a beer from Canada plus this is in a can it's kept very well I think there's obviously none of that kind of burn or anything like that not that we're actually going to get that really not burn, but you know, greenness being two months old. Nice pineapple note. Those are that bit grapefruit, but it's, it's, it's quite a nice smooth mouthfeel. Once you get that initial kick of pineapple at the front, it kind of all smooths out, balances out, and then you get a, like an after bitterness at the back end, but not nothing harsh. There is a slight creaminess. I assume this is brewed with oats. Um, let's see what it says on the can. I don't think it says much on the can, to be honest with you. It just says Collective Arts Brewing Limited, Hamilton, Ontario. Um, you know the hops, 6.1, collectiveartsbrewing.com is a website. I put all the information down below. I've had a few beers from them now. And that's it, and the artist, and the date. That's it, nothing else on the can. There is a, a little commercial description that I'll go into. It says, uh, fall into the rich embrace of this New England style IPA. Simcoe Mosaic Cops balance out each other to make this juicy IPA explosively fruit forward in both taste and aroma while without curbing any unbearable sweetness to make an extremely drinkable beer. And the last bit says, a huge mouthfeel ensures 
all of your taste buds are enveloped in a blanket of tropical fruit bliss. Paradise in a can. So I haven't gone onto their website to see if it's brew votes, almost certainly though. Just give it that mouthfeel. Nice beer though. Yeah, tasty stuff. Um, in terms of my personal rating then on this one, I I have the IPAs of all the pile of beers I've had from Collective Arts. I would put Ransack the Universe a little bit higher than this, although this is a very nice IPA. I would have put this around about an eight and a half out of ten. Um, it's definitely in the eight range, pushing nine. But yeah, eight and a half. I think out of ten is fair. So four point two five out of five. If you're on the untapped, over to untap for the scores. It's had a lot of actual check-ins. It's had just over thirty thousand check-ins when I'm currently. Pardon me. Currently having a look. It's had uh, seventeen hundred in the last thirty days check-ins. Actual ratings twenty three thousand. 535 currently as I'm reading it again coming in at 3.95 so that's almost an 8 out of 10 on the uh, on the scale really so that's pretty damn good out of 23 and a half thousand so that's, that's pretty damn impressive so yeah um, great brewery what I've had from them so far check them out apparently they're coming over to the UK more regularly they've just up their canning line um, I can't remember the exact number, but yeah, they've up production, so maybe gearing up for, and it had little whispers of information, uh, Indie Man in Manchester, that they're going to be coming over to the UK, pretty much all the craft beer festivals, and they're going to bring their cans over regularly by the sound of it, so hopefully you'll be able to get these if you're in the UK. Um, also, while I'm here, check out my uh, Canadian brothers in craft beer reviewing down below um, great guys they do like normally a live stream on a Wednesday uh, the, the uh, beer analysis 101 so this could potentially be on that channel of good friend Nick over at Maxwell Star anyway enough waffle let me know if you've had this one before in the UK especially uh, it's a damn fine beer so there you are leave it at that thanks for watching then and I will see you on the next review cheers